Hi, I'm Rebecca from yarnandshy.com and I'm going to teach you a simple way to cover a foam wreath with chunky yarn. This is a crochet technique, but this is something that anybody can do even if you don't have a knowledge of crochet. It's just a very simple slip stitch technique and anybody can learn it. So for this project, you're going to need a styrofoam wreath. Any size would work, but a rounded shape is going to be best. I'm using this 11.8 inch wreath that I got from the floral section of Michaels. You're also going to need some chunky yarn. If this big thick braid is what you're going for, you're gonna wanna use something like what I'm using, which is this jumbo sized yarn from Hobby Lobby that has been sitting on my shelf for probably a year now because I had no idea what to do with it, but I just loved it so much I couldn't leave it at the store. It's perfect for this project. It's called Yarn Be Chunky Knit, and it's super thick. So it covers the wreath pretty quickly and produces this really nice, beautiful braid and lots of awesome texture. You're also going to need a crochet hook. Just use whatever size is recommended on the yarn's label of the yarn that you're using. For the yarn that I chose, I'm going to be using a 15 millimeter PQ hook. You're also going to need some fast drying glue. My favorite these days is this Gorilla Super Glue with the brush and nozzle because I love the brush feature. It's just really nice to use for arts and crafts. All right, let's get started. So to start this fun little wreath project, what you're gonna wanna do is take your yarn and your wreath Set your wreath in front of you, and I'm just gonna take the end of the yarn, and I'm going to tie a quick knot right at the top there. Now, this doesn't have to be anything fancy because this is actually gonna come out at the end of the project. We're just doing this to hold it in place here. Then we're gonna take our crochet hook, and I'm gonna show you step one, which is your first initial stitch. On this wreath. Now after this one all of the rest of them are going to be exactly the same as each other. This one's just slightly different. So here's what you're gonna do. Hold your hook like this so that the hook end is to the left of the knot that you just made and your yarn is coming out this way and what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach through your wreath and grab that yarn and pull it up and go behind your hook to wrap it around and then you're going to grab it from the outside of the wreath and pull nice and tight, wrap it around the hook and use that hook to pull the part that's on the hook section through right there. Okay, that is step one. For the next stitch, and this is how we're going to do it the rest of the way around, so almost exactly the same. Your yarn is coming out this way, so we're going to reach through our wreath, grab the yarn, and come up around the back of the hook, drape it across the front, and then come from the outside of the wreath and grab it, pull it a bit tight, Move that over a little bit to get it out of the way because we're going to hook it right there on the hook. And then what I'm doing now is I'm going to use the hook to pull this through both of these loops. So we're going to go one at a time. One, and then you've got to get it through this one too. Two, all right. Let's try that again. Need some extra yarn here. Okay, so slide your hook so that that loop is all the way over to the handle of your hook to get it out of the way. Okay, reach through your wreath, grab that yarn, come up around the back of the hook and drape it over the front, and then grab it from the outside of the wreath and hook it on. And then we're going to pull it through that first one and through the second one. Okay, and as you can see, we're getting this pretty braid on the top there. So let's do that one more time on camera. We're gonna reach through the wreath, 
come up behind the hook and around the front and then reach from behind, put it on the hook and pull it through both loops. Okay, you're gonna continue to do this all the way around your wreath. So go ahead and repeat those instructions until you get back to the point where you started. Now I want to show you a couple of really quick tips um, as I am moving around my wreath here. I wanted to show you, um, you might need to squish together the work that you've done just to make sure that none of that green wreath is showing through. As you can see, I haven't squished this part yet, so I'm just going to kind of move it over, squish it together so that none of that shows through on the back, okay? So that is one tip. My next tip for you is... If your hook comes out of your loop, for whatever reason you're taking a break, it just slips out, whatever, you do want to make sure that you're putting it in the right way, okay? So insert your hook into the loop, and what I want you to do is pull on the working yarn. And as you can see, the yarn that you're pulling, the loop that's moving is the one in the front show you that a little bit closer to see what I'm talking about. So keep an eye on these loops and look for the one that looks like it is moving and that's the front one and that's how you know that you've inserted your hook the right way. If you inserted it the wrong way and you pulled it would be that back one the one behind the hook that's moving down and we don't want that. We want the side that's moving to be the front across the front of the hook. All right, so keep those tips in mind as you continue around your wreath. Okay, so as you can see, I've gotten to the point where I'm back to my starting point. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna untie that knot that I started with at the very beginning. It's nice and secure. Your yarn is not gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna untie that, and then I'm just gonna do one more slip stitch here. And I've already cut my yarn. You shouldn't have cut your yarn yet, but I did that a little bit prematurely there. So go ahead and finish to fill in that gap there, and then you're gonna just pull it through, okay? So now what you have are these two ends. And what you wanna do is you just wanna take your crochet hook and just sort of weave these ends through so that it kind of matches the pattern. And we don't have to worry too much about this because you can make this the bottom of your wreath design and then all your pretty stuff can go right here. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. But just to help it kind of look nice, what I'm gonna do is I'm sticking my hook through here and I'm just grabbing this and pulling it through to just kind of keep that braided look going. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take your super glue, fast drying glue, and I am using the brush feature on mine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue right underneath where this is going to lay and I'm going to glue, put a glue dot um, all the way around to down here under the wreath so that I can tuck this in. So I'm just going to look at about how long that's going to be. So I'm going to take my glue, get the glue all over that little path that that yarn is going to travel. I'm going to hold it down. a few seconds just to make sure it stays in place and then I'm going to cut right at the end and tuck it in to that area. Now make sure your glue is dry enough that you're not going to super glue your own fingers to the wreath. Okay so that's tucked in really good and I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Now I'm not going to need a whole lot of glue. I'm probably just going to dot right there with the glue and then I'm going to stick it right in there, okay? 
Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because it's probably going to be covered up. And hold it there. And then I'm just gonna cut. And tuck that end in. Smush it back together. Okay. And you can kind of fiddle with this at the bottom a little bit just to make sure that the braids look somewhat even compared to the rest. It's not going to be absolutely perfect, um, but again, we can make this the bottom part of our design. Okay, so that is the end of our wreath. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit here and show you the different ways that you can play with this to use this pretty braid. So the way that I happen to have it right now is so that the braid is basically on the edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my hands to push that braid right to the edge so that it's right on the edge like that. And when you put it down or hang it up on a door or whatever, that braid is just gonna add an extra little bit of texture around the outside of your wreath, okay? Now, if you really love the braid, you can bring it all forward. Just use your hands to kind of even things out a little bit. You can bring that forward and make it really front and center so that the braid is really very visible, sort of like a frame for the wreath. So that's another way to do it. If you don't like the braid and you think it looks more modern without it, which sometimes I do, I don't know, I haven't decided which way I like it better, but if you don't like the braid, you can squish it all to the, the back, we're gonna call this the back now, and then just flip it over and you have this gorgeous, yarn covered wreath that looks very simple and sleek and modern and then add just a couple of really simple things to the bottom there some leaves maybe a crocheted pumpkin um, like the one that you can find on my website and i'll link to that in the description below um, some leaves some flowers uh, anything like that so i hope you enjoyed this really simple tutorial on how to cover your wreath with chunky yarn and of course you can find lots more modern cute patterns on my website at yarnandshy.com and be sure to subscribe see you next time